Well, the wait is almost over for all of us, with the Matildas just hours away from starting their home World Cup campaign. And joining me now is one lucky reporter in Luke Doherty. Luke, it's finally time. How are you feeling out there? How's the mood around the Matildas ahead of kickoff? Yeah, overwhelming excitement. And it is finally time because this has been a three-year build-up since they won the bid back in 2020, all geared toward this moment that is about to unfold tonight. For the Matildas, even those who've played in front of really big crowds in Europe or whether they haven't, it's hard to argue against the concept that this is going to be the biggest moment in all of their careers, just given the fact that Australia has never hosted a World Cup before. So this group of Matildas takes a very special place in history in front of what will be a sold-out crowd here at Stadium Australia. It was really interesting to see the team walk out onto the turf last night. They only were out there for about 10 minutes, just out to the sideline, just to have a look around. But as soon as they got out of the tunnel and onto the pitch, you could see the joy on their faces. The phones came out, the selfies started being taken. There was an impromptu team photo as well. And Sam Kerr revealed as much in her news conference after the Aussie skipper that it was a moment that it really hit them, that this was about to unfold, it was real, it was no longer going to be talked about, they were going to be out there in the middle tonight experiencing it. So we followed that question up with, well, when it comes to performance then, how do you ensure that for that first 15 minutes, from a coaching perspective, from a playing perspective, they're not walking around shell-shocked at the sea of green and gold and the wall of noise that they're experiencing? They admitted it's something that has been addressed in camp. Dress rehearsal against France with 50,000 in the stands was massive for us for a mental preparation. A Claire Hunt, for example, who said herself that took about 50 minutes to get into it mentally. It's okay to feel nervous or okay to kind of get overawed by the crowd because that's life, that's football. Luke, Sam Kerr will be feeling the heat more than anyone else with the hopes of the nation riding on the star striker and captain. Surely she'll step up. <laughs> Hopefully we see a couple of goals and a couple of backflips as well from the Aussie skipper. She was asked about that yesterday, whether the coaching staff have any trepidation every time she does run over and do the backflip after a goal, and they simply just offered her no comment. Let Sam be Sam and let her get on with it. But just in terms of the weight of expectation, the best thing the Matildas have done over the last 18 months is really find other avenues to score that don't involve Sam Kerr. It may seem counterintuitive, but there used to be a theory, and it was more than just a theory, it was almost fact that if Sam Kerr didn't fire for the Matildas, then the Matildas weren't firing as well. But over the last 18 months, they've found willing participants like Caitlin Ford and Mary Fowler and Hayley Razzo and Katrina Gorey alongside her that have taken that burden off her. But from an external perspective, from a public perspective, the 75,000 plus who are going to be here tonight night, they're all going to want to see a Sam Kerr goal or, or see Sam Kerr cause absolute havoc out there. She admits she's a lot better now at dealing with that weight of expectation than she was previously a couple of years ago. Of course, everyone in Australia has a lot of expectations, but it's something I take in my stride and I try and just enjoy. Um, and I think back at Chelsea, I've done that too. I've just enjoyed it and that's when I'm at my best me. So for me, it's about enjoying it and, you know, expectation and all of that just comes from outside noise. I know what's expected of me from the coach and my team and, and that's all that really matters right now. So it stands all before the Matildas tonight. A huge crowd here at Stadium Australia for this moment and it's just the first step on a journey as well. They hope will lead them all the way back here in a month's time when the final will be taking place. Oh, I reckon Luke 4-0 with Sam Kerr a double tonight. It'll be a big night for Australia.